Good. How are you doing today? Good. How are you? Good. Um, my name is Emily. I'm a student PT from the University of Cincinnati, and today I'm going to be working with you, trying to figure out why you've been get, getting busy recently, and hopefully giving you some treatments to work on that. Um, is that okay with you? Mm -hmm. Are you comfortable where you are? Yep. Good. And before we get started, I just have a few questions. Could you please tell me your first and last name? Helen Meltner. Okay. And your birthday? 619.97. Okay. And then I just have some more questions that I want to kind of clear up before we get started on our tests. Have you recently had any neck problems and in any injuries to your neck? No. Okay. Um, what about any changes in your hearing? Any just sudden loss of hearing? No. Okay, what about a feeling of pressure in your ears? No. Or any ringing in your ears? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what about, do you have a history of any vestibular disorders that you know of that might be unstable, like multiple, scler multiple sclerosis or anything like that? No. Okay. Um, do you have any discharge from your ears or your nose recently? No. Okay. So um, the first test that we're going to do is called the head press test, which um, basically what I'm going to do is you have these canals inside of your ear that help you stay balanced. And so what we're thinking with your dizziness is that there are these crystals in your ears and sometimes the crystals can come loose um, and they send signals to your brain um, that make you feel off balance. So if we can do these tests and figure out if you we think that your crystals are still moving, then we can do some treatments to help fix that. Okay. Um, and so signs that your crystals might be loose or your abnormal eye movements and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to be testing for right now. Um, so this first test, I need you to look at my nose right here. Um, and I'm going to take my hands on your head and tilt your head downwards a little bit. Keep your eyes open the whole time. And what I'm going to do is just turn your head to the side really fast as I want you to keep looking at my nose the whole time, okay? Okay. Ready? Good. Good. Okay, and so that's good. You have a negative test there, which means we didn't see any of those eye movements, okay? Okay. So that was negative. Um, and the next test is called the head shaking test, so it's going to be a similar position. We're going to tilt your head down just a little bit and look at me. And I'm going to have you close your eyes, but now I'm going to shake your head back and forth for like 10 seconds. Then I'm going to stop and I want you to find my nose really fast. Okay? okay. Go ahead and close your eyes. Okay. Open. Okay. And so that's also a negative test because I didn't see any eye movements there. Okay. Okay, so the next test that we're going to do involves you kind of sitting on the table in an awkward way. So I want to ask before we do, do you have any problems with your back at all? No. Okay, then I'm going to have you swing around so you're facing the window and your legs are straightened out on the table. Perfect. Go ahead and scoot that way just a little more. Good. Um, and so this test is going to kind of, again, try to recreate your symptoms that you've been having. So I am going to put a trash can over here just in case you start to feel sick. Okay. Um, but we're just going to see how it goes. I'm going to, again, look for your eye movement. So I need you to keep your eyes open the entire time. So it's going to be a really quick movement. I'm going to stand down here at the edge of the bed, hold your head again, um, and in one quick movement, bring you down so that you're laying flat. And so your head is tilted back and facing like that corner right there. Okay. Up at the ceiling, but at an ankle. Okay? So I'm going to hold on here. Ready? One, two, three. Come. And how are you feeling? I'm a little dizzy. Okay. It looks like your eyes are shaking a little bit, so I'm just going to go ahead and move right into the treatment. It's called the Epley Maneuver, so we're just going to hold you here for a little bit. And what we're doing is working on uh, keeping those crystals in your ear and getting them back into the right spot so that you don't have this dizziness again. Okay. Okay? 
So while we're here, what I'm gonna do is, now I'm gonna turn your head over so that it's facing the other top corner of the wall. So we are gonna look up the same place, but onto your left side. So ready, one, two, three. Good. And we're just gonna hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. you roll onto your left side um so go ahead and push over so you're laying on your left side but i'm going to control your head okay you're rolling and i'm going to turn you down like this i'm going to hold that there how are you feeling now a little dizzy okay we're just going to again hold this for 15 seconds Okay, I need you to hold your head here for me. And I'm gonna help you get up. So you're gonna take this hand and push on the table here. Okay. And I'm gonna hold your, oh sorry, hold your shoulders and kind of help push at your hips, okay? So bring your legs over like this. We're gonna come up nice and slow. Ready? One, two, three. Okay, right. how are you feeling now? Okay. All right, and it doesn't look like you have any dizziness or anything, so perfect. Okay, Ellen, I see that you're already in the position for the next test. And so we have the pillow for you now so that you can kind of stay um, with your head tucked just a little bit. And I have the trash can here just in case you start to feel dizzy again. Okay. Um, so what I'm gonna do this time is Bring my hands under your head and we're gonna do some fast head movements again. I'll be looking for our eye movement, so make sure you're keeping your eyes open the entire time and just let me know how you're feeling throughout the test, okay? Okay. So I'm gonna start by just scooping my hands on here. Thanks. Um, and I'm just gonna turn your head to the left because that was the side that you weren't um, getting as many symptoms on last time. So ready? Okay. And so we'll just stay here for about 15 seconds. Okay, and now I'm gonna bring you back to neutral where you're looking straight up. Perfect. Are you feeling okay so far? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? Okay. A little dizzy. Okay. Okay, yeah, I've noticed your eyes moving now. Okay. Sometimes when you get into these positions, there's a period of latency, so you don't notice your symptoms right away, but they come on later. Oh. And so since you did get dizzy this way, I'm just gonna go straight into the, the next treatment. Um, it's kind of like a rolling maneuver. So we're gonna keep open this way for 15 seconds. I'm gonna bring you back to neutral. So you're gonna stay here for 15 seconds and then I'm gonna turn your head to the left and you're gonna roll all the way over to your belly, okay? Okay. How are you feeling now? Okay. Okay, now we're gonna go to the left. Gotta keep your, wait, wait, wait. Stay right here for a little bit, sorry. We're sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> you're just ready to be done with this. <laughs> good. We'll do about seven more seconds. Okay, now trying to keep your head as still as possible, roll over onto your side, on your left side. Yes, and then flip over onto your stomach, kind of like in like the baby cobra position from yoga. Good, stay looking down. Good. And just go ahead and hold that for about 10 more seconds. Okay, and 
and then go ahead and move slowly into a sitting position on the side of the bed. So yeah, you can come up onto all fours, kind of swing your legs over however is most comfortable for you. Perfect, and how are you feeling now? Better, good. So, Ellen, the next test that we're going to do is called the Samant Liberatory Procedure. Um, and so I'm going to put the trash can here um, again. And what we're going to do is I'm going to start by having you turn your head like that. Wow, it's like you already knew. <laughs> um, and we're going to put you facing that way. Um, and I'm going to bring you down to your right side so that you're on your side with your head on the pillow. But I want you to keep your eyes open the whole time and keep okay. your head in this position, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Three. Good. And you can bring your legs up. We're going to stay here for one minute. Okay, so now that it's been a minute, um, this next part is kind of the tricky part. So keeping your head like that and your eyes open the whole time, I'm going to bring your legs down and help you sit up and all the way back down onto your left side. Okay, okay? so we're going to try to make it as fluid and as quick as possible. So go ahead and bring your legs down for me. Ready? One, two. Three, up, over, keep your head still, perfect. Now I'm gonna um, touch your head to the plinth. Good, and then you can rest there for another minute. Okay, so now that it's been a minute, I'm gonna help you come up to sitting nice and slow. So bring your legs this way again. And up you go. How are you feeling? I feel fine. Good. Okay, Ellen, so the last thing we're going to do is kind of a treatment option for if nothing that we did today worked out. It's just kind of a way for it to help you get used to your symptoms so that you can go longer through the day um, before your symptoms start to bother you. Um, so what we're going to do is kind of just like the last treatment we did. I'm going to have this in here just in case. Um, I need you to keep your eyes open the whole time and, again, look up into that corner right there. Okay. Okay, and so I'm going to help bring you down onto your side just like we did last time, okay? Mm -hmm. Ready? One, two, three. Down. You can bring your feet up. How are you feeling there? Oh, good. Okay. So I need you to tell me once you feel much better. You don't feel any symptoms. No dizziness, um, no sickness, anything like that. Oh, good. Okay, I feel better. Okay, so I'm going to help you get back up into sitting where we're going to stay for a second, okay? Okay, ready? One, two, help push up with this one. Okay. okay. One, two, three. Okay. Feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. Once you have no more symptoms, just a tiny bit dizzy. Okay, then you can come down onto this side when you're ready. Okay. Ready? Ready? One, two, three. Oh, keep your head tilted. One, two, three. Perfect. Feeling okay? I'm kind of dizzy. Okay. Go ahead and stay there until you're feeling better. Okay. Go ahead and come back up to sitting. I'm going to have you try this on your own this time. So push okay. up with your hand here and swing your feet down just like that. Perfect. Remembering to look up there. Go ahead. Okay, and so this is something that you're going to be doing at home by yourself. So I'm going to have you practice it one time through with no help, okay? Okay. So when when you're ready, go to your right. And each time, just wait for your symptoms to go away. And you're going to keep doing this until you're to the point where you're starting to feel sick. And you're like, Emily, please don't make me do this anymore. You <laughs> like don't feel good. Um, and then we'll stop. This definitely isn't a fun treatment by any means, but um, it's just a way to help you get through your day a little bit better. Okay. So let me go one more time to this side. Then also what I'm going to give you when you're done um, is a treatment log that you can take home so that you can um, mark like how many reps you got through um, in each session, 
and how you felt after each session, how long it takes for your symptoms to go away, um, how long it takes for all your symptoms to go away after your exercise. And I need you to try to do this like five to six times a day, trying to increase the number of reps each time you do it. Okay. Okay. Um, do you have any questions? I don't think so. Okay. Um, cool. Well, it was nice working with you today, and I hope that your symptoms get a lot better with all the treatments that we've learned. Thank you.